shake your booties for black girl nerds. Hi, my name is Lynette Nicholas with hey. Black Girl Nerds. Hey. Pleasure to be here today. Um, there's a theme of misusing spiritual gifts within the film. Why oftentimes do you think that people with power or spiritual gifts tend to prey on the weak? Well, there, uh, there's a philosophy that says 85% of the people on the planet are followers. 10% of the people on the planet are creators mm -hmm. or leaders, and 5% of the people are observers. So when you got 85% of the people who are willing to follow, the 10% who are able to create something are gonna capitalize off of that, and the 5% are the, usually the ones who are assassinated or shunned or um, discredited because they can see everything that's going on and they would ruin it all for the 10%. So the reason why it's so easy to do that is because people are willing to be led, I think. Do you think that when people go to psychics, sure. or they're seeking the supernatural, uh -huh. that oftentimes they're seeking for information that they're not quite ready for? Hmm, perhaps, but you know what? I never think about someone else's journey or what they need because you, what you desire, what you want, aesthetically or, or spiritually usually leads you to what you need you know you think you want a thing it's not something that's um, random you 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 want this because this is something you need for the evolution of you and for your spirit yeah. you know and in Allie's case in the movie she didn't know that she needed this reading or she didn't know that this ability would lead her to something that she actually needed yeah. to help develop herself but it was. I mean, it's just, in my experience, the way life works. You know, you just follow your heart, you know, and it doesn't matter what people think you should be doing or, you follow your heart. And that's what we're learning from, from Ali. She should, Ali, she should have believed in herself right from the start, yeah. right from the start. Nothing should be able to infiltrate that for us as women. Okay. Your character, she found out through her best friend in the worst way about her fiance cheating. In reality, would you want your best friend to let you know that your man were cheating? Yes. Yeah. It is her duty as my best friend to tell me things that I love to hear and also tell me things that I would hate to hear if yes. they benefit me yes. in, in, in a positive way. I don't think any woman would want to marry some man and then find out later, I, oh, I wanted to tell you, girl, but your man been cheating on you. <laughs> yeah. We want to know. I would want to know up front, because if this person is not who they say they are or who I think they are, mm -hmm. then there's no reason to get married. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Y